What is going on YouTube is Sank and we're back with another one. Hey, before I kick things off, if you're looking to level up as an investor, check out the link down below to the Patreon and join our team of investors over at the Discord. Alright guys, so in this one I've got a jam-packed one for you. There's a couple of plays I want to bring to your attention so you guys are set with a strategy so we can continue to do what we do best and that's crush these markets week in, week out. And as always, I'm bringing the heat so do hit that like button for me and if you're new, hit that subscribe button during the journey. Now as you guys would have seen out down the field, the market's volatile, it's choppy, but I already prepped you, gave you the heads up on what to expect, so this should come as no surprise to you. Now I want you guys to know this is not a bad thing because as we go through this correction phase, there's different stages. The first is free fall, that's when you see the players drop 10-15% on a daily basis, we've already passed that. The next phase is that volatility where the market can't make up its mind. One day it's green, one day it's red, the next hour is green, the next hour is red. The next phase is that turn in the market, that inflection is almost an upwards to the bull run. Now we might be a way off that, but I want you guys to know we're on the journey, we're on the path. You guys must know investing is a process. All you guys got to do is keep rocking with your boy and stay the course. Now as I mentioned to you guys, I've got a couple of plays I want to put on your radar, but before we get the show on the road, I want to touch on today's MVP. That's the most valued play from the portfolio. Alright guys, so up on screen is Vuzi, ticker symbol VUZI. Now before I go any further, I'm going to need you guys to drop me a comment below if you're locked and loaded with us on this play. Now Vuzi, they're just doing what they do best, up on the day, over 16%. Now, as I said to you guys, I expect this play to continue making them partnerships going forward. This is an animal of a play, it's like clockwork guys. Each and every week, we hear about a new partnership. Now Vuzi, they make these smart glasses with augmented reality. And today they announced that they received a $400,000 order from an insurance and finance Fortune 500 company. So this is good news for our play. Guys, we shouldn't even be surprised by this. Now, there's three takeaways from this. The first is that their product is in high demand. Right? This is a sizable order from this company. And this just shows you that Vuzi, the product is doing exactly what it says on the tin. That's reducing time for these workforces and increasing efficiency. The second thing is they're rubbing shoulders with giants in different industries. I already told you guys about the Microsoft collaboration, I told you about Rio Tinto, and now they've gone ahead, partnered with an insurance and finance firm within the Fortune 500, and we can only expect much of the same as we go forward. And the third is that the use cases for Vuzi's glasses are just going to continue to grow. I already told you guys about the use in warehouse logistics, in healthcare, in mining, and now in the insurance industry. Now going forward, it just shows the versatility of their product, and it's just going to continue to snowball as they pick up different clients in different industries. Now Vuzi is currently standing at 21.97 and right now the market is doing everything it can to try and pull this play down. Not only are they going through the market volatility but also we've got short seller attacks, we've got analysts coming out talking about other companies who are trying to release their own smart glasses but Vuzi continues to put up a good fight. Now check me out, so I'm just going to head over to the 52 week high, as you can see 52 week high on this one is $26. So right now currently standing at $21.97, pretty much $22. They're not far away from that 52 week high. Now those plays in the portfolio that are in touching distance of their 52 week high, you guys must know there's good things to come for those plays because they're managing to weather the current storm. And if you're looking to load up on this one, we strictly only enter this play on a pullback below $20, ideally 18, I push 19. As I say, there's a lot of market forces working right now, so you should see a cool off in that stock price opening up an entry point. Now, as I say, solid performance on the day, so big shout out to the team at Vuzi, keep doing your thing. Up on screen, that's Plug Power, ticker symbol PLUG. Now, I'm sure you guys already know by now, unless you've been living under a rock somewhere, they've come out and announced they have to reinstate some of their financials. That's 2018, 2019, and various different quarters for some financial issues. Now, I wanna to say to you guys, first up, this is a rookie error from a billion dollar company. Plug, they've got great technology backed by a strong management team. I expect first in class accounting to go with. But as with anything in life, you learn from your mistakes and I expect Plug to bounce back strong from this one. Now what you guys need to remember is when we invest into these plays amongst other things, we make sure they've got a good balance sheet. They've got good projects we're gonna translate into good revenues and also we base more of our investment decision on the future of the play rather than historic. Now with Plug, despite these accounting issues that they're facing, all of these things remain intact. They've come and announced, right, our cash balance is gonna remain the same, it's unaffected. Their commercial partnerships are in check. 
and they're still on track to hit those revenue numbers from 2021 right through to 2024. So we remain bullish on this play. So in one of our recent leveling up sessions that I did with you guys, I brought to your attention the difference of having weak hands and diamond hands and ensuring you guys always have your diamond hands ready. Now I do those sessions with you guys so you can apply the teaching in the field. And here is a good example. So pre-market today, plug was down negative 20%. So you can already see there's a lot of weak hand action going on. Now plug open up the day negative 15%, closed out the day negative 8%, so it's climbing through the day. So all that weak hand action, all that fear, all that panic selling, they've lost out. Now what they didn't do was read the finer details and they didn't remind themselves of their initial DD of why they got into plug in the first place. So guys, round here, when you're on our channel plays, there's a no tolerance policy when it comes to weak hands. All of our moves, they're strategic, they're thought out. Now, as I say to you guys, I'm bullish on the future of Plug. Like I say, they're leaders in what they do. They've got good technology backed by a strong management. So this just opens up a good entry point to dollar cost average down on this one. And for my new investors, it's a good point to start your entry position. Our next play, that skills, ticker symbol SKLZ. Now, this play announced a stock offering today that caused that stock price to come down. As I said, you guys have seen that price action several times now, and it's only yesterday CleanSpark went ahead and did the same thing. That's why I said that opened up a good entry point. If you guys saw what happened to CleanSpark today, you saw a nice jump in that stock price. The same thing is gonna happen with Skills. This is a comfortable 30 plus dollar play. So I hope you guys use the opportunity today to load up on this one. If you haven't already done so, grab some stock in skills. Now skills, they had a very good quarter that just showcases their dominance within the gaming market and what is to come with this play. Super high engagement, very, very good revenue growth backed by strong management team. So again, I expect this play to do very well. It's another play I'm very bullish on. They're in the portfolio. We have a decent position in this one and as i say we're going to catch any weakness that we see in that in that skill stock price because this is another play destined for greatness all right guys so those are the plays you guys are now set and ready to continue doing what we do best in these markets all right guys been rocking with the channel you know what time is now this question comes from zx corbin says some of these penny plays that are restricted what are your thoughts long term if we're down 40 percent i was thinking of holding long term on some Obviously can't average down now. If it's only trading two on two that are restricting buys and the company's still doing well, surely it's better to just hold. Obviously setting stop losses would have been good. However, I was buying into a company thinking I would hold long for a year. Setting a stop loss at 10% didn't seem like the right thing to do. So this is a great question. Thank you for sending it in. I know it's gonna help a lot of people out. So this is in response to trading two on two continuously slapping down buy restrictions on various OTC plays, including IQST. Now, I don't want you guys to underestimate the significance that trading two on two investors have on the market, especially the OTC market. Now, by restricting buys, they are stopping millions and millions of buys of these OTC plays. You've also got to remember that in places like the States, the Robinhood, the Weebles, very popular apps, don't have access to OTC plays. So this means that the trading two on two investors have significance and they can move the markets. So this is why it becomes a very tricky situation when they put buy restrictions down. Now you also mentioned you should have put in your stop limits. You guys not always say put your stop limits in place to protect your downside, but also give you exposure to that potential upside as well. But no point crying over spilt milk. The plan now is to strategize and think about your next moves. So I wanna to talk to you guys about what you could potentially do if you're down heavy on the play and there's a buy restriction. But before I get to it, you guys know I always say have dry powder on hand. That's cash that's readily available that you can deploy into the market. It's a very powerful thing. So my question for you guys is, what is your dry powder situation? And if all of your capital is tied up into some of these restricted OTC penny stock plays, an option for you is to take that loss retrieve that capital and then redeploy it into the market. What you guys need to know is out there in the market, there's a lot of cheap plays with good growth potential and they have the liquidity they need to continue their rise. So when you sell out of these plays, you can write it off against your taxes, but you've got the cash and that is a very powerful thing. Now, I know this might seem like a leap of faith, but sometimes in the market, you have to take bold moves. And this is what I would do in this situation because I can get out of these plays, that are uncertain and jump into more certain plays. And I know that I can deploy that money and get those returns. You guys gotta realize out there in the market, there's plays that can grow 30, 40, 50% or more by the end of the year. So like I say, sometimes you just have to make bold moves. 
All right, guys, so that wraps things up. Do hit the like button for me, hit the subscribe button, drop me down some comments below. It's always good to hear from you guys, and I'll catch you on the next one.